Today, we've got some exciting news coming straight out of the world of traditional finance. One of Switzerland's top banks with a whopping $450 billion in assets has officially started trading XRP, Bitcoin, and Ethereum. Yep, you heard that right. The lines between traditional banking and the crypto space are blowing faster than ever, and this could be a game changer. So let's dive into the details and see what this means for crypto adoption and the market as a whole. All right, so here's the scoop. A major Swiss bank with a massive $450 billion under management has now added XRP, Bitcoin, and Ether to its trading platform. This is big news for the crypto space because it shows that institutional interest in digital assets is not slowing down. It's actually picking up steam. And we're not talking about just any bank. Switzerland has long been known for a as a hub for banking and finance finance. And having such a significant player step into the crypto game sends a strong signal to the rest of the financial world. Now, Bitcoin and Ethereum being on the list probably doesn't surprise anyone. They're the heavyweights in the crypto world after all. But what's really grabbing attention here is that the inclusion of XRP. Given the ongoing legal battle between Ripple and the SEC, uh, seeing XRP included is such a, in such a high profile platform is pretty interesting. It suggests that despite the regulatory drama, XRP is still seen as a valuable asset by major financial institutions. As you might expect, the crypto community is buzzing right now. If you've been on X or Reddit, you will see a lot of excitement, especially from XRP holders. The XRP army is pumped to see XRP gaining institutional attention, especially with everyone going on in uh, everything going on in the US legal system. It's almost like a badge of legitimacy for XRP showing that big money players are still willing to back it despite the regulatory uncertainty in the US. Bitcoin and Ethereum supporters are also pretty happy, of course, but for them, it's more like business as usual. Both BTC and ETH have been gaining traction in traditional finance for a while now, so this is just another step forward. Still, there's a lot of chatter about how this move could further solidify the idea that crypto is here to stay. Day, and it's not just for retail investors anymore. But as always, there are some cautious voices out there too. Some people are pointing out that while it's great to see a major bank trade in crypto, it's important not to get too carried away. They argue that crypto markets can still be or are still highly volatile. And while institutional interest is a good sign, it doesn't mean we're out of the woods when it comes to price swings and regulatory challenges. So what what does this mean for the bigger picture of, uh, oh, of crypto adoption? Well, this is definitely a step in the right direction. When you see traditional financial institutions like a Swiss bank jumping on board, it's a sign that the crypto or the sign that crypto is becoming more mainstream and trusted. The fact that they are offering XRP despite all the legal uncertainty could also mean that institutions are starting to look past short-term issues and focus on long-term potential. This could be also encourage other banks and financial institutions to follow suit. We've already seen some major US banks uh, dabbling in crypto, but having a European giant like the Swiss bank get involved adds even more legitimacy to the idea that digital assets have a place in traditional finance. If you're holding XRP, Bitcoin or Ether, this news might be a reason to feel optimistic. More institutional interest often translates into more stability and potentially higher prices over time. Though, as we uh, always say, crypto markets can be unpredictable, so it's important to stay informed and manage your risks. This move by a Swiss bank to offer XRP, Bitcoin and Ethereum Trading is a major milestone for the space, and it's going to be interesting to see how other financial institutions react. What do you think? Is this the start of a bigger wave of institutional crypto adoption, or are we still in the early stages? Drop your thoughts in the comments down below. We would love to hear what you all think. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss another update. And guys, click here to watch our latest video. You're not going to want to miss it.